Having multiple Postgres databases per single container is still not supported by default on the official documentation, as you can see. But there's this neat part, Docker Entry Point Init DB, which uh, takes care of all initialization scripts. And I'll show you how to configure uh, all the initialization to start multiple Postgres databases. And also in this configuration, uh, it will be supported that each database has a different uh, password. So let's start. I'll create initialization script. And I'll call it multi Postgres init multi Postgres databases. This script will be an executable, so let's make it executable right away. A second. And okay, this is executable when I run it, it will run nothing. I like to set this as start of executable scripts. So this set E exits immediately if a command exits with a non-zero status. And U is means that you should that uh, script should treat and set variables as an error when substituting. You can also look at other options if you like with help set. Okay. Not important right now. Uh, let's create this script uh, for starting multiple databases. So let's call it create databases. Okay. First argument will be a database and second argument will be a password. And a password field is an optional one. Let's see. I'll just uh, add this explanation so you can see in the docker logs what's going on and we'll call psql postgres user is uh, default uh, variable in uh, Postgres Docker. If you don't set anything, uh, I think it will be uh, Postgres. We'll check that in a second. Okay. And AOSQL is max boundary. Between these two boundaries, there's just the regular SQL. Let's start creating the user. User will be same as a database. And, and password will be the other argument. Okay. And now on to creating the database. And 
we need to grant all privileges on the database to the created user. Okay. This is that function and We'll go, we're going to call this function. It will only run if this variable is environment variable is set. Okay. If it's set, then run it. And we'll type this in the Docker logs. And this this one, Postgres multiple databases. I'll show you what are valid values. It can be database one, database two. But it can also be uh, database one, uh, some password. Just don't use colon because uh, in the password because uh, it will be used for used for splitting. Okay. First, we'll split. First, we'll split by comma and iterate these databases. User is something and password. Password is something. And if password is not best, we'll default the password to a user. Okay. And now let's uh, let's type more information in the Docker logs. Okay. And pass these arguments. And when we're done with the first iteration, we're going to, when we're done with all iterations, we're going to echo multiple databases created. And that's it. Now on to creating Docker Compose. It will be version three and services service will be DB. It will pull from Let's latest version is Postgres 15. We start in case of errors. 
Uh, this is the host port and this is the docker point, uh, docker port. So my uh, 5432 is already taken on the host, uh, so I'll take uh, 5433. And as for environment, I'll pull from the environment file, which will be called .n. And as for volumes, And as for volumes, we're going to share mount this script into docker entry point db okay and on the first initialization uh, the initialization Postgres will pick up this script in multi Postgres databases and call these functions. But it will call create database only if this environment variable is defined. Okay. And now we can define an N file. And then the file contains, uh, this should always be defined, I think it's required. Uh, Postgres password environment variable defines a password for the super user. And this one is our variable, which defines as I mentioned, multiple databases. We're going to create two databases for this example. And I think this is enough. So let's run it. No? Okay, 5433 is also allocated. I have an error in my script. And why do I have that error in my script? Uh huh. This is the issue. So let's try again. And I have multiple errors. Let's see now. <sighs> Sorry about it. We are going to do one more split by username and password. And password is an optional field, so it's not defined. Password is the same as the user. Now let's see for one last time. This should work. Yay, it works. Okay, so as you can see, creating database one, creating database two. And the one more caveat, if you decide now uh, to add uh, another database, uh, it will, uh, Postgres will ignore your script because the data already exists. So let's try DB3. I think it will right now in logs that it's ignored. Okay, if you see skipping initialization, your data already exists. So what I do, just uh, delete 
data and retry again. And now DB3 is also created. Uh, let's try connecting, for example, to the first database from IntelliJ. So we can see that everything is configured just fine. Host is localhost. First database is DB1, test1. And what else did I forget? Uh -huh. I can't connect to this one, but I can connect to DB1. And connection is established. If I connect to it, you should only see public schema because it's empty.